Mobile phones are our best friends in our daily lives. But have you ever wondered how did they live in the old days without Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp and all of those fancy stuff that we have today? Well, in today's video, we will discuss the evolution of the mobile phone. The first portable phone ever created was the Motorola DynaTAC 8000X. The world got its first portable phone in 1983 and it was this phone. It looked gigantic and there is no screen and touch buttons yet. But this phone was a great creation back in these days. This phone allowed long distance call and didn't have wires and cords around it, like the landline phone. This Motorola phone was created by Martin Cooper. Martin first made this phone as a prototype in 1973, but then became available for the public in 1983 priced for $4,000. Starting from 1992, a new portable mobile phone appeared. Its name was the Nokia 1011. Made by Nokia in Germany and launched in November 10, 1992, this Nokia phone had a weight of 475 grams and could store 99 phone numbers in it. Also, it displays two lines of black and white text on its screen. This phone was the first JSM phone and it was a heavy portable phone due to the nickel cadmium battery it had. Also, it offered a 90 minute talk time for the user and it had only an antenna, no camera, no memory slot card and colors. This phone appeared in 1995 and it was actually similar to the Nokia 1011, but this time with colors. This phone is called the Simons S10 and it was the first mobile phone that displayed colors. It weighed 185 grams, definitely lighter than the Nokia and it had a battery life of 10 hours talk time. But they say at its time, it failed to make an impression. This phone displayed only four colors, red, green, blue and white and it was a sort of attraction to gain attention only. But the Nokia outbeats it. They also say that the color display in this phone made it hard to use. Let's jump to 2002 and in this year introduced the Sony Ericsson P800. Actually the first mobile phone with a camera was the JSH04 phone that is only available in Japan but that introduced the world for the love of photography. So the Sony Ericsson P800 was released in September 2002. It weighs 158 grams and it had 27 mm of thickness and a battery of 1000 mAh per hour. It had a 16 MB storage and it could store photos but not videos. Both Sony and Ericsson merged their businesses and we got the Sony Ericsson P800. Let's go to somewhere between 2003 and 2006 where we will meet the BlackBerry 8100 Pearl that was released in 2006 on September. It weighs 89.5 grams and it had 14.5 millimeters of thickness. The OS was BlackBerry OS and it had 64 megabyte of storage with a micro SD slot. But let's go to 2003 and check out the Sony Ericsson Z1010 mobile phone. That was a phone that allowed video calling. It had a 32 megabyte of storage with a 29 millimeter of thickness and it weighed 144 grams. It had two cameras, a selfie camera and one on the back. And the selfie camera was not only for pictures, but also video calling. Let's announce the first touchscreen mobile introduced in December 12, 2006, which is the LG Prada. It was created by LG Electronics with a collaboration with Italian luxury brand Prada. It was a touchscreen mobile phone and sold a million units in 18 months. However, in 2007, CEO of Apple Steve Jobs introduced the first iPhone, which had 16GB of storage and was able to record videos and take pictures. It was tiny, around 135 grams of weight. And now, speaking of touchscreen mobile phone, in 2011, the iPhone 4S was actually the best phone that year. It was an upgrade on the iPhone 4, and Siri was available as Apple's virtual assistant that was created in October 2011. And Siri was actually one of the reasons that hyped the iPhone on its launch day. That iPhone actually sold more than 4 million units. Actually, that wasn't the only phone that year. We had Motorola Droid RAZR, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, Nokia N9, and Samsung Galaxy S2. And now, what do you think phones looks like nowadays? Phones allows you to do anything on them. Stream games with high quality, purchase stuff online using your phone, video chatting, web browsers, and more. You are now looking at iPhone 13, the S22 Ultra, the Asus ROG phone and more. Who knows how mobile phones will be in the year that comes.
but for now sit tight and enjoy the journey. Alright, that brings us to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. You're watching Techcent and how about checking out these top 7 technologies that will blow your mind.